What's crack a folks? Welcome back to King Arthur, where we will head to the entrance to the underworld. Let's see how that goes. We have arrived at the place where the veil between other worlds stretches really thin. This is where the gateway to hell can be opened. Gods, in my call, I'm Avatar Sulius, and I demand entrance to the underworld one last time. Champion of the Ninth Legion, I'm the Priestess Cornelia, Shepherdess of the Dead. By the blood on your hands, step forth and face your accuser. Oh, hello, there he is. <sighs> Who dares drag me back to this world? It's him. Now you shall pay for your sins, Roman dog. <sighs> Both words from a flimsy vessel made of ever rising flesh and blood. What is your quarrel with me? Speak. I am Boudica, the warrior queen. You raped and killed my daughters in front of me. You entombed me alive to suffer forever. I slaughtered nations in my time. You angry little barbarian wax! I fed and fenced wolves for a new speaker. Why would I remember you? I will listen to this no more. Gods, please grant me revenge. And he's gonna summon two. That's a lot of them. A lot seem to be soft targets, uh, so to speak. We have one, two, three, four archers. What are we waiting for? So how many can you murder? Um, or lovely one. <laughs> That's kind of disappointing. And of course they get resurrected. I'm going to slow you and hope you cannot reach me. You cannot if I walk forward one step. Yeah, he is a, a bit of armor. For yeah. my <laughs> you can't also not kill him, which is um, sad. So go here and start wailing at that guy. Oh, you killed him. I, I like that. Good job. We cannot get out of his attack range unless we, we jump, which doesn't make any sense. We're gonna jump to that archer and murder him. Oh, Is he still at your there? Service, my lord. Your Highness? Sir Kay can come here. So what can you do? You also can do Firestorm, but one turn delay. That's better. Oh. Defensive stance, yuck. And what is this? Summon lost skirmisher. Okay, that's not too bad. We've killed many of them before. Your command. So the question is, do we charge for him? And we obviously can't knock him down. <laughs> I, I would be very surprised, let's put it that way. Here to serve. You can come here and attack. Uh, we, we can't leave him alone, so. You're gonna. Come here. Do an attack. You have a lot of movement AP, but not attack AP, sadly. No, you face this way. At your service, my lord. Where do we go? You can... 
Why can't you not charge at him? We charge at him. The downside is we can get backstep. Um, but we'll go into defensive stance. And taunt, I don't think, um, within full four tiles range. One, two, three. So they all should be taunted towards me. Your command. Which is very good. I mean, you have tons of armor. They shouldn't be able to get through to you. And now you get even more armor, so I want you to... Yeah, this is perfect. Oh, we'll watch this. You save one AP. What? Ready to fight. Um, you don't have... You just save your AP. Oh, he's safe. Um, someone's one, of course. What was the second attack he did? Okay. Oh, we have two archers left, right? We are overwatched. Oh, we're still backstab, yeah. Sad. But we gave him insane amounts of armor. So he can take a backstab. Actually, 12 to 18. So it's better just to have Which one should I take? him backstab. Shall bleed. She needs to move, uh, which is easier said than done. Yeah. <laughs> How much does it do? It deals massive damage. So we, yeah, we need to get out of here <laughs> for sure. Oh, she has teleport, so she can teleport here. <laughs> Hopefully, kill that one. Yep, very good. Fire and steel. I want sh you to kill that one. Power and glory. They're all bleeding. Immune, yeah. Yeah, it's not gonna kill him. Hmm. We can't attack if we... This brings him completely out of range. So we just um, put three force folks at him. Can't kill him. You can backstep that squire. Sadly not killing him. And who do we... Oh, you can kill that guy? That is huge. And then you face... Yeah, this direction. And then do your fancy overwatch, which gives you... Again, tons of armor. Blessings. Anybody who has AP left, Sir K... Can you kill that guy with luck? Yes, you did. Double damage too. Um, you can't even attack again. Very nice. So how about you come here and then next turn take care of them. Even though Sir Ector can do that as well, he doesn't really have anything better to do. He can do damage reduction with the bleed hex. Oh yeah, burn your own guys, and that didn't even kill him. Sad. Good blocks and armor doing its work. Uh, you might have to jump. For my forefathers. Mm. You go here, and then here, and backstep that guy. you buff the armor? K 
kill that one so she isn't eating as much damage. Keep attacking him. Well, we can. Oh, that's the wrong one. That's pretty seer. Yeah, we can come here. First we kill. That one. I don't want to deal with resurrected enemies. So we're going to take care of them. Awaiting your command. It's okay. Flew through them, double damage, and still didn't die. <laughs> Sad. The Lord. Um, 20% vulnerability. We're going to use him. Actually, we can use him to lower damage. He's actually not bleed immune. Very nice. And we can slow him because that means I think everything costs more AP. I'm not quite sure. And let's come over here. Oh, there's still a guy there. Oops. I am ready. Sir K. Kill that one. And yeah, Sir Ector's gonna eat an arrow. <laughs> I already see that coming. Oh, actually, oh yeah, it would have been a backstep, but she dodged it. Like a pro. I serve the Lord. One, two, three. At least that one's dead. What is your command? Can you reach? You can. That is huge. What a massive range. And I want you to clean up as much as you can. Your Highness. Sir K, please kill that one. Oh, you need two attacks. That's crazy how many HP they have, even when they're down. Um, Sir Pelias. Bleed. Which one should I take? If you go here, um, and Winnie goes here, next turn we do all the buffs. But he's gonna taunt. He's not taunted. God damn it. It's okay, you can't move either. Okay, let's see. Really? Really? <laughs> uh, you're annoying. <laughs> I did not expect that. So I need enough movement AP to... Uh, yeah, she's gonna eat an attack. Full king and country. You probably can't freeze him. Oh, you can! That is huge. Um, how much do you need? One, two. So you can still attack and then get out. Which one should I take? Power and glory. I, I don't trust this hero. <laughs> it's, it's still! Oh my god, how the hell? Can you lose so much damage? I'm gonna slow him. Um, that should reduce his AP just in ready. general. I need you to do damage here. Yeah, he's gonna get resurrected, but you know, hopefully he takes enough damage. Oh, you need you need to come out here. Yeah, you're gonna take care of that one then. For king and country. 
and you. Actually, your watch here. Your command. Okay. And he's gonna eat the fire. Last two, but it's too important to stay here. Minus 19, okay. Summon another one. For the round table. Okay, perfect. The counterattack took care of him completely. We're gonna taunt again. At least that guy's taunted. We can kill him in one hit. That is huge. Um, we can do our guard again. I should have done that later when people are around. Command. Where is Burisia? Fire and steel. Can't kill him in one hit, sadly. Yeah, we're gonna jump over and kill him. And then let's go back. Your command. Lady Guinevere. I'm gonna bless you. Do we need to protect anyone? I don't think so. Two AP. Well, oh, you're already blessed, so 57. So that's 57 and one armor. That's 36. Just go through there. Oh, you're gonna kill him? Yes! But you see, I put now, that sword in his heart. Very nice. My vengeance has been fulfilled. Restless souls, in the name of the old gods, I banish you all back to the other world. Be gone. Very nice. Very nice. Are you all right, Boudica? I'm still breathing, Ludwin. Thank you for risking your life for me. Saying no to a woman of your beauty was never one of my strong suits. Bum, bum, Stop bum. your flattering <laughs> before I punch you in the face, Ludwin. I'm practically hundreds of years old. That makes you the best looking hag I've ever seen. <laughs> hey, don't hit me. Please accept my eternal gratitude, knights. Without you, I would still be lying under that spell. Reliving the horrors over and over again. Your vengeance has been fulfilled. What now? My people have turned to dust as I slept for centuries. I'm a queen without a crown, who has nothing to live for. Except perhaps for the compliments of that bloody troubadour. <laughs> well, that's a start. If you need me to fight for a cause, any cause, my sword is yours. See you in Camelot then, Lady Boudicca. Boudicca. It, it's the funny, everybody pronounces her name different. Uh, uh, Ludwin, she herself, and Pelias, they all pronounce it different. <laughs> so I have no idea what it is, um, according to how you really pronounce it. All right, finish the mission. That was, that was cool. Level up a hero three consecutive times in the training grounds. <laughs> Who did we... Who did we level up? Sir Balin? No, Sir Yvain, I think, leveled up three times. So we got the heroic sigil of tenacity. Regain five HP at the start of each encounter. Plus two unbreakable armor while outnumbered. Once per turn, gain three movement AP for one turn after receiving a hit. Okay. Plus four damage against poison units, plus three poison damage. This could be good for... Who is that? No, Yvain is the archer. Um, the other guy who's a vanguard. Minus one AP cost for Globe of Protection, plus four damage against frozen units, regains six HP. That's useful maybe for Guinevere. These are not that good. Rage. Gain 5 damage for 2 turns for each kill, plus 2 outnumbered. Only for champions. Alright, Sir Ector got whacked quite a bit. 
But Sir Kay, Lady Guinevere, and also Sir Ector uh, leveled up. Very nice. Sir, ba are you ever done with your training? <laughs> Sir Vane leveled up, Sir Balan leveled up, Sir Balan healed from an injury. So he still is missing health. We're gonna do the one turn one. And Sir Hector. Uh, what is his injury? Suffer poison effect, duration is double. Mm, not that bad. So heal your vitality first. And then if we need you, we can take you out. Sir K, you got two points. You're our champion that can do two of the power attack and the death strike. Every currently running cooldown is reduced by one turn after killing with strike. That might be useful. This is all if you have no HP, which is... You know, not ideal. <laughs> I want to focus more on just doing damage. I think we upgraded the power attack fully, but we used the death strike to a great effect. 15% damage. Yeah, it could be worth it. Actually, the cooldown wasn't an issue. Two turns, that was pretty good. Um, any of the big ones we could pick. We could pick kick, but honestly, knockback, most of the time we don't want to knock them back. We just want to murder them. So, we already have armorer. Robust, potentially. 10% more weapon damage would not be wrong. Ranges after every kill. It's, it's just, I feel too specific. Okay, I want to apply bleeding and for the cleave. More damage in the center because it's knockback. I actually don't know what's the best choice here. We can leave one open. Let me get these down here, I guess, and see if there's something good in those. I don't really need any of these right now. Sir Hector. You got two more points. Plus 20% hex intensity. Gain AP at the beginning of each turn equal to half the amount of hexed units. So the more I hex. Mental debuff resist. So he can also summon... But is that good? It's going on four turns. Vitality. I it, it's like a distraction ability more than a damage ability. We have Master of Hexes, right? No, we don't. Plus 25% Hex Intensity, and then we can get another 10%. Armor reduced by 2 is useful. Reduced by 1, that's also useful. But we also can boost um, the Fire Blast. Yeah, I'm not sure if the, the death hex is really worth it. It's only for one turn. Plus 40% of the hex intensity. So it the biggest uh, benefit is the vulnerability right now. Slow hex. It wouldn't be bad to increase the slow by one more turn. Next intensity reduced by 40%. So it's 60% more AP. I think I like slowing one unit. The hero gains 2 AP when killing an enemy with force pull. That might be worth it, actually. 
So either we do Master of Hexes, plus 20% Hex intensity, and this is 25 plus 10 for one more point, but we get one Spellcraft. Hmm. And, I mean, this one would be a good combination with Terror Wings. Because if we can hex or slow a couple units, but the other thing is, it's rare that they actually group up, then we can hit more than two. So we slow two, and then we get two more AP. Which isn't bad, for sure. But we can get the same with um, this. I think we go with this. And then Fire Blast AP cost is reduced. That would be nice. And then just straight up more damage. So just buff his damage more. Lady Guinevere. She is still not very loyal. <laughs> Should have something better from her, but okay. So Divine, we gain 22 HP when HP drops to zero. I guess useful. Let's see what else we have. More weapon damage. Plus no AP. Um, the RF protection also reduces incoming range damage by three. That's also very... So I think we can double down on the RF protection. Blow of protection is plus three armor. That's also pretty good. That is, I guess, really good mental and physical debuff resist. Casting Globe of protection removes all negative effects from the target. I think these two are really good. This removes chill, free, slow, and stun from affected units. That's removing stun from everyone is pretty good. And slow. But dispel magic is it removes all negative effects from the target. That's very strong. Frost armor. Hmm. good-ish but I'd rather play her as really a support um, freezing attack against 50% armor breaking also decent support effect 20% mental debuff resist less also grants 10% melee weapon damage which is also very good I think this one and this one are just really, really good. Stun can be really a pain in the back when, you know, our biggest damage dealers are stunned. So removing that from every unit is huge. Uh, Sir Evane. Uh, vulnerability. Less AP. One AP. That could be good, but what do we have here? For every two tiles of movement, the hero's next non basic skill costs one less AP. Bleeding, armor piercing. The Jason unit burning is also nice, but we already have that on Lady Dindrain. I do wonder what other way we can build him. We have here, the first ranged hit the hero receives in each encounter is automatically dodged. That is very useful. Just remove a lot of the issues we have from 
ranged attacks. And then we... I think armor piercing is also really good for the normal attack that we can use um, all the time. And so Balin, he's also getting really, really strong. One movement AP is, is good. Counter attack. Again, don't want to bet on that. Gas trap is so hard to properly use. Two movement AP is very good. I think those two are really good. We have here chump. We already leveled chump pretty well. So traps, while well, they can be good, I think his strength is really... My, like moving around and doing tons of damage with backstabs. We already have jump. I don't think we need dash. Here against plus 3% cumulative weapon damage for each tile of movement. That, you know, that's what he does. He moves and backstabs. So that might totally be worth it. Right, if we move like five tiles, that's 15%. That is like two more damage. Not huge, but you know, when you backstab and have surprise, it adds up very quickly. The ring dagger can target an additional unit, yeah. This ring dagger is actually pretty strong as well. Weakened. And they lose armor. Shackles. I think we go for this. I mean, this is how we play him, right? We play him as sneak to the back and murder them with backstabs. So if that gives us even more damage, that makes him even stronger. So item upgrade finished. So it, it level, uh, the requirement goes up to level 15 instead of like, 11. So that doesn't really help. Um, higher rarity, I think we'll upgrade to that. You can reforge a selected equipment to a higher rarity version of it, of the, on the same level but with different enchantments. Even relic items can be created. Just drag and drop the desired item into the slot from your inventory. Relics can't be improved any further. I wonder if that randomizes them again completely. First attack every turn deals guaranteed damage, plus four armor piercing, plus three maximum weapon damage. Do we have another one that's really good? I mean, I wanna upgrade that one. Because the more damage you can do, the better. So we have the first attack. It's discounted to damage, four armor piercing, and three maximum weapon damage. I don't know if I want to risk that one. Lady Guinevere. Regain five HP for each kill. Plus two damage on armor and Sealy. Use a relic. No, wait. <laughs> what do you have? Here's a green one. Plus seven armor piercing, plus six temporary HP for defensive stance. It's also really good, but... Let's see. Seven armor piercing, six temporary HP. Um, I don't know if it's going to completely reroll all of them. I certainly do hope not. But, you know, we, we have other ones that we can use if this one goes horribly wrong. He's still in the train ground. Nuts. <laughs> Anybody who levels up in one turn with the free training. Sir Pelias. Um, what is the next mission we're going to do? I think the main mission, Beyond the Veil. 
we have um, two new events. What is the other event? I see this event. New event available here. Oh, down here, right of Everspring. Oh, the Wandering Salads is... Isn't that where we want it to have money and then I spent the money? Oh, according to my Castellan, some troublesome monks are roaming the countryside. The messengers of the one true god, as they're calling themselves, are raising ancient sacred places and harassing the followers of the old ways. But they also offer solace to the common folk, which is a powerful message in this dark time. Their seal may be useful, but I am the champion of the lady after all. Or at least, that's who I was supposed to be. Leave the Christian monks alone. Moving more and more into the Christian realm, um, Sir Galahad. We need a bit more. We're at 10, we need three more. Um, but the Black Knight and the Red Knight, I kind of want to unlock those with more tyrannical decisions. Okay, uh, let's see what we can do in Camelot. Enchanted Tower, I don't think has anything new. The Merchant, let's check real quick. I think that's the same. Let's do the burning duration. Just think, um, do we want to upgrade anything? We don't really have money to upgrade anything. Um, does anybody have an injury? Sir Ector. He's still healing, okay. And Sir Balan is also healing. All right, training ground. We're gonna put Sir Pelias there. As he will level up in one mission and we're gonna bring Sir Mordred anyway. And I usually just put people in there that ideally can level up in one mission. And next mission we bring probably Sir Mordred. Sir Kay doesn't have a sword, right? Yeah, we're upgrading his sword. We can give him a different one. Or we bring Sir Mordred, Lady Guinevere, Sir Balin, and Lady Dindrain, probably. He doesn't have Tapan, so Lady Dindrain. Uh, can we. Sorry, uh, Lady Guinevere. We have better armor for you. That's less armor. <laughs> yeah, we only have worse armor for you. Cool. Plus 11 vitality is good. Break them on my own armor. Now, th those are not good. And it's less armor and less HP. So even though this one's green, it's actually better than the blue ones. I guess because their low requirement is five. We just have to be careful with her, with only one frontliner. Um, yeah, we have to be especially careful. Sir Balin might have to uh, tank more, just be really quick. I, I do like to run with two frontliners. But you know, she is kinda a frontliner, right? Her support is really valuable. They so usually run Sir Mordred, maybe Sir Kay, Sir Lady Guinevere, and then either Sir Balin or a ranged um, person. Even though I think a vanguard is just much stronger, even than a ranged one. I mean, the, the burning is nice. She does a lot of burning damage. Lady Dindran generally is very strong and plus 30% weapon damage, so this is very strong. I'm just not sure if we want to bring Lady Guinevere. I think we want to have two frontliners, because that's where her buffs really shine with the Aura of Protection. Then again, she also can use that, teleport around and, and do some backstabbing of her own. 
Who will be the damage dealer then? Sir Mordred? Very good damage dealer. Sir Balin. Lady Dindrain. And she is buffing. Three turn cooldown. But Sir Balin can do insane amounts of damage. The here and allies gain plus two AP, that's huge. And the Globe of Protection can mitigate even some of her own risk, right? The risk to her. She has 42 HP, that's not bad. Seven armor. Yeah, I think we can run that. But we'll figure that out in the next episode. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time in Avalon.